Good morning, good morning, Big Square Roadrunner.com. With your morning horn of Z's, your sip of coffee with a little chaga. Who says the markets aren't rigged? <laughs> look at this, look at this picture. At the exact same moment, at the exact same time, we have a jump. Steve Manusha says, we better let some air out of the uh, the silver and gold price suppression. So I'm going to click my mouse twice. Boom, boom. And then instantly, silver up 38 cents, 2.26%. Instantly, gold up. $30, 1.94%, because Steve Mnuchin went, click. <laughs> it is a con. It is a fraud. These Nobody knows what the fair market value of silver is. I suspect between $600 and $800 will be the first stop if it was freely traded. And then it'll go one-to-one -one with gold. I'm not joking around. That's how long the price suppression has been going on, 150 years. When it is allowed to freely trade, first of all, the COMEX won't be open. The LBMA won't be open. Neither of them could survive that kind of price. That's the control mechanism in our markets, in our free markets. It's bullshit. There is no such thing as free markets. There hasn't been free markets since Alan Greenspan invented the computer programs to rig the markets in the early 70s. Under Arthur Burns, his mentor, the head of the Fed, yes, the world's largest gold bug invented computer programs to rig the markets in the 70s. His best friend, John Kimeney, invented basic computing. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go to Road to Ruta and do some research. It's all free, right? The, the first section is all free. It will change your world, my friends. This is, this is fantasy. Silver up 48 cents now. Why? Because Steve Mnuchin went down to the basement of the Treasury and clicked the mouse. Actually, I think he's on the road at the G7. So he did it from his phone. Click. Okay, welcome to technology. We gotta let some air out of the silver price because everybody's soaking up all the silver at a cheap, way too cheap a price. <clears throat> at a minimum, silver will go four to one with gold. At a minimum, if freely traded, when freely traded. <clears throat> and that is exactly why JP Morgan is under investigation for RICO charges because they are the last stand for the banking cabal. Before that, we had. How you name it, Bear Stearns, AIG, Drexel Burnham. What happens to companies that hang on to that gigantic silver short manipulation? Bang, 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 all out of business. AIG had to be bailed out for $300 billion. $300 billion. And then JP Morgan took it over. And now they're under investigation by the DOJ for RICO charges. You know why? Not because they're going to bust them before this thing falls apart. It's after the fact. After the system falls apart, that's when the DOJ comes in and says, Jamie Dimon, you're under arrest. Blythe Masters, you're under arrest. All the board of J.P. Morgan, while this was going on, you're under arrest. They should have been arrested decades ago. So we will have a freely traded silver price. These prices are fantasy. Just hodl. Hodl your silver. Hang on for dear life. You know, you know what hodl is in silver lingo is stacking. I'm stacking. Silver, silver lovers are the original stackers, are the original hodlers. And if, if you own silver but don't own cryptos, you're making a mistake. If you own cryptos and you don't own silver, you're making a huge mistake. <clears throat> and why don't I suggest buying gold? Very simply, the price ratio is so far out of whack, it makes no sense to hold gold right now. <clears throat> if you want to go buy gold, you want to know how to get gold for about a tenth of the current price. So you want gold for 160 bucks? Go buy as much silver as you can right now for the end of the manipulation. After the manipulation is over, silver rises 10 times the amount of gold. <clears throat> then flop over. Then swap your silver for gold if you want gold. That's how to get gold at $162 right now. Go buy silver. Hang on to it. Silver moves up 10 times the amount gold moves up and then flop over and soak up all the gold. You can. This is not financial advice. <laughs> somebody, somebody sent me an uh, email. <clears throat> oh my God, Bix, I listened to you and, and bought Bitcoin at uh, $19,000. You shouldn't do that. You're not a financial advisor. You didn't have a, a disclaimer. I thought you were a financial advisor. Why would you automatically assume someone's a financial advisor? Really? Insane. 
insane. And I didn't tell anybody to buy Bitcoin at 19. I said, I had no idea where they're going to rig the price to. I did yell and scream at buying Bitcoin at $200. And anybody who's been on the road to Ruta long enough can attest to me being fanatical about buying Bitcoin at $200 and Ethereum at $7. Do you remember those days? <clears throat> the same thing's happening right now. Five years from now, you're going to look back and say, oh my God, I could have got Bitcoin at under $100,000 and I didn't do it. I could have got Litecoin under $500 and I didn't do it. That's what's happening. That's what hodling does for you. You don't have to predict when these things are going to happen. You just sit and hang on. <clears throat> All right. So here we go. <laughs> Yesterday, I put out the timeline, Ruta's timeline. Part two and part one was posted on Sunday. Um, I did release part one. Here, let me go. Part one is my interview with Cliff High <clears throat> about the coronavirus. Absolutely, 100%. It is real. Those who are claiming that it's bullshit, it's not real, it's not real, or you're killing it. People should be prepared. What's the downside of not preparing is dying. The downside of preparing is getting ready for the shift in the financial system. There is no downside for taking this thing seriously because that's your best bet. If you listen to people say, oh, it's nothing. There's nobody dying in China. They are, they are giving you advice that can kill you. Do not listen to them. They don't know. One good way to look at it, you know, some people say, no, no, China's normal. It's all back to normal. Look at the, the pollution levels are down I think it's 60%. That doesn't happen when production isn't happening. Listen to Cliff High. Join Cliff High's Twitter account. He's tweeting 20 tweets a day now. And he doesn't have to prove himself. If you know Cliff long enough, you understand. He's a smart dude. He's looking out for your best interest. And watch this video. I posted it to the public road because it's so important. Go to Road to Ruta YouTube channel and watch this video a couple times. Cliff High video. <clears throat> but I did want to share something with you. <clears throat> the number two, part two of the timeline is my take on the timing over the next few months, how this is all going to go down. Now, mind you, I wrote this a couple days ago. Listen, listen to what I said for these. Here's your sneak peek. Ready? New, this is for March 2020. That's this month. News of the coronavirus goes viral and there is a run on all stores for supply. We're kind of starting to see that right now. It will happen. It will continue to go through March. The government will continue to come out and say, oh, you're fine. Don't worry about it. Governments around the world try to calm fears by claiming it's all under control. You're seeing that all over the place. No, this is under control. Trump comes out every two minutes. This is, oh, it's all fine. It's under control. It's under control. We saw this from Trump this weekend. And I'm sure we'll get some Fed announcements that, hey, we're going to fix it with him. Fed jumps in to juice the stock market temporarily. Temporary spikes hit all markets. This <coughs> there we go. Stocks and gold surge higher after emergency 50 basis points red Fed rate cut. Now I posted this and I said on Monday, I, I, I said on Sunday when I posted it to the private road, I said, hey, <laughs> check out Steve Mnuchin is going to bump the markets on Monday. Because they had crashed all last week. And voila, it did. He went downstairs and clicked his mouse. This was a great call. The Fed's going to keep cutting. And then this morning, Tuesday morning, stocks and gold surge higher after emergency 50 basis point Fed cut. That was a good call. Come on. Kudos. Let's hear it. Okay. I got one right, right? There's a little more. I'll give you a little bit more. I do this throughout. March through, I think, July is when there's a change. So check it out. This will be all throughout March. Every time the fund, the, the Fed comes in, okay, we're going to lower interest rates to 0%, to negative. We're going to pump money into the economy. You see a spike and a fall. A spike and a fall. Remember, these, these markets are not 
we traded. The exchanges are all rigged with computer programs. All right. So I go through quite a few information. What I think now, this is not set in stone, people. This is my take on how this is going to unfold. It will be wrong. I guarantee you. I mean, I'm right so far, but it will be wrong. And I will modify this for all the private road members and Patreon Plus members. People were bitching that I only have a one year subscription to the, the Patreon, to the uh, private road. So I made all the videos from here going out on Patreon Plus, which is 25 bucks a month. We'll be up there. All the videos plus all the repo stuff. And then there's the Patreon channel, which is 10 bucks. And you get less than, than that, but you get at least one video a day and all the repo updates. All right. That's what's going on on the road to Ruta. And today we have uh, another day of up, up. There is no reason, no reason for the stock market to be at 26,000. It should be at probably zero. Truthfully, let's, let's be honest. These companies have been rehypothecated. The shares of the companies have been rehypothecated at the DTCC. Created, used multiple owners for each share. Every share of stock out there, including Apple and Tesla. One, they're rigged. Look at the volumes. Number two, there's multiple owners for every share. People say, oh, bitch, why don't you own mining stocks? You know, you get cheap, cheap metal in the ground. Here's the problem. 100% rigged, 10, 10, up to 10, 5 to 10 people own the same share that you do. It's a con. Watch Patrick Burns' videos on that. Back in, hell, he did that back in 2000, 2001. He proved the manipulation. He proved that the DTCC does not do their job properly. They're supposed to... One, put the shares in your name, but they put them in the street name of Seed and Company. That's the most criminal thing ever. Seed and Company owns everything. Who owns Seed and Company is the question. There was an investigation in the 1970s into that, and it was one person, probably the Queen of England, which, which makes you think, what the is going on? Get out of the stock market. Get out of the bond market. Get out of the gold and silver markets that are online. The Comex, the SLV is a joke. GLD is a joke. All of them will kiss your money goodbye. When the banks crash and they are on the brink, go to the timeline. When the banks crash, poof, that game is over. So, yeah, like I said, like I said in this, Fed some sit here, I'll play a little more. Steve Mnuchin and the Plunge Protection Team rig markets higher, continually higher. You would be insane to short any market. The power of the computer to click as many buys as they want of anything or sell. It's just the world we live in. There we go. And what has it done? Last week all down, which it should have gone down. And this week it's going up. Why? Because Steve Mnuchin's clicking his mouse. All right. <clears throat> I will be posting the uh, repo updates for the private road and for Patreon. A little bit later, there's a little more work to do on the the um, DTCC, on the FICC. Yeah, that that's the con. That's where they're trying to hide everything. And they're owned by the DTCC. It's a clearinghouse, but it's not a clearinghouse. It's just a way to hide, to shield the banks from their own problem, which is multiple owners of the same treasury bill. It's getting really ugly behind the scenes. I'll be posting an update on the private road on Patreon in a little bit. And finally, let's talk about what's going on with the Democrats. I, I'm, I'm coming to the conclusion that we won't have an election. This will probably be the last president. And I know there's some psychics who said, oh my God, yes, this is Trump will be the last president. I can see how that can happen. Now. Democrats converge around dementia-addled warmonger ahead of Super Tuesday. Yeah, the push for the Democrats is to get anybody but Bernie now. Anybody but Bernie. They'd probably rather have Trump than Bernie because then they lose control of everything. If Bernie takes it, the Democratic machine loses control of everything. They don't have the Republicans. That Republicans already lost control of Trump. And they're just hoping they can get one of their candidates in after him. Now Democrats are losing control of their party. Bernie gets 
domination. I think a two-party system is ridiculous. But then again, I think all politics are ridiculous. There's 35 million people who work directly and indirectly for the, for the governments of, in the U.S., local, state, all that. 35 million. You think our founding fathers wanted that bullshit to happen? No. And that's going to go away as well. Big changes coming down the pike. If you want to stay ahead of the game, join the Road to Ruta, private road, hit subscribe today, click, and I will send you one Veritasium token. I do think Veritasium will be part of the solution. And it's a big part of the solution. And I can see how it's un unfolding right now as we speak. So you definitely should have some Veritasium in your hands. And by joining the Road to Ruta, I send you one very token along with a silver coin. A Road to Ruta coin. The coolest coin. You know, can you imagine when I'm proven right and the Road to Ruta theory was correct that there are good guys behind the scenes trying to take out the bad guys? Imagine what this coin's going to be worth. Each are individually numbered, double stamped with luster. There's Ruta jumping up and down on the, on the silver brick road. Cave of gold in the Grand Canyon. It's good stuff. Anyway, this is Bix. I'll talk to you guys later.